For this craft project, we are going to be making a kind of toy activity. And you can use toilet paper tubes or cardboard tubes if you have them. You could also just use paper, uh, strips of paper or paper cut into strips that we will then you would just roll into a tube shape and tape. Um, scissors, if you're either needing to cut your paper down or to cut our TP tube, we'll need markers. And if you don't have a paper towel stand, you could also use something like a long sock or um, you could stick a stick into some Play-Doh or into mud or dirt, something that you can ultimately put these pieces on because we're gonna be making a person builder. So there are two options for which order you do this in. Um, if your child is able to help you with drawing a person, it can be fun to first smush these flat. Well, either way, you'll smush these flat first. And then draw the person. So I'm going to draw a little closer so you can see. I'm going to draw a person's head shaped like a circle. I'm going to give them two eyes, a nose, a mouth, maybe some ears, and uh, let's see, a neck. And then maybe I'm gonna give him, how about a shirt? I'm not the greatest artist here, but that's okay. I'm just trying my best. He's kind of got stick arms and his hands are fisted. There we go. And then I'm gonna make some pants. Oh, I ran out of room on that one. So you might need to trim them. So for this one, I would cut, I'm gonna cut the head in one part, and then I'm gonna put their main part of their body, their shirt, in another chunk. And then this piece, it didn't really work out, it wasn't big enough. So I've got a head, and I've got a, a chest or a torso so far. Let's make another one, but this time let's first flatten it. And this is the other way you can flatten it. If you want, you can draw a line to guide where you're going to cut, like this. We can cut, line up to the line with our thumbs on top. And now we can draw on this piece. So maybe now I want to make a hat. So um, you can you can use just one or two colors, or you could also start to use other colors. For my hat, I think I'm just going to do a curved hat, and then your child could decorate the hat or whatever it is that you've made. Okay, so there's my hat. Oh, she still needs legs and, and feet. So let's make, maybe we wanna make some feet on our white piece. I'm gonna draw the feet so that they start at the ankles and that it connects at the top. Maybe we'll do, I'm gonna use a hard surface so I can hold it up so you can see what I'm drawing. Come down, go out, make a shoe shape. And another shoe shape, maybe I'll draw a line where the shoe ends. And I got some blue shoes. And then, uh oh, wait a second. This is where playing with it gets to be fun because we can see our shoes don't go above our head on top of our hats. We need to take them off. And then we would reorder shoes, what's above our feet? Legs. We don't have any legs. Let's make some legs. I'm going to switch to a different blue. I'll draw line down for one leg, another leg, maybe between the two legs we see a point, kind of like an A, and um, there's my, my blue pants. I mean, I might add like some decoration, some stripes on my pants maybe, that's an option. Because if you decorate each of the different outfits and people and make them look different, it gets to be more fun with the mixing and matching. Right now, I've only got the parts for one person. And this is the person that I've built. Yeah, I think I can move closer so you can see this even better. So here's my one person I've built so far, but say we want to mix it up. I'm going to add another. Maybe I want to make a different face on this one. This time, I'm going to add a bunch of colors to see if I can make those eyes. 
you. I'll do. All right, so now I've got a different head and I can play oops, trading my pieces out, mixing and matching. And you know what? I don't want that hat anymore. I'm gonna put, instead of making a new piece, I'm actually gonna put a hat on the other side so that I could do a quick change of his hat, or my person's hat. All right, so now I've got a top hat on this side, a black top hat that has straight lines. Or to quick change, well, now he's wearing a curved hat that has red dots on it. You know what? We could change the other side of his pants. We could always draw a different pair of pants on the other side, or maybe a skirt. So let's do that. How about a skirt? And I can color it in, make it my own. I'm gonna try to cover all of the cardboard colored spots. I really make my skirt. Now I've added a skirt, but you know what? I think it's missing something. Can you tell what it's missing? The legs. We wanna draw the legs coming out of the bottom of the skirt. There's that one. These might not line up perfectly with my shoes, but I tried my best to approximate. There we go, now I've got, my person is wearing blue shoes, a red skirt. Yeah, we still got this black shirt, but we could always add some kind of decoration to it, maybe a flower. There we go. You can see this ends up making a toy that can be or lend to hours of fun. I hope you had fun uh, getting to make this and learning a little bit more about it. See you next time.